Hi guys, welcome back to the Yorkshire Modeler. We are now on to issue 4 of the F40 Competizione from Panini Collections. So with issue four, we get the uh, first front wheel rim um, and we get a few parts to go inside it there as well. Uh, you do get four type B screws, but you only need three for the actual um, parts themselves. So I'll do what I normally do, get the camera set up at the table and we'll get started. So we've got everything here that we get with this issue, plus we get the uh, tire from the previous issue as well. Now in the instructions, the foam that comes on the inside of the tire is to simulate the um, inflation of the tyre, so you've got to keep that in there, so that's all set up and ready to go. Now as for the instructions, um, we need the uh, wheel rim as well, which is metal and quite heavy, so that's very, very nice. Um, and then we need to take, uh, so arrange the rim with the inner face facing upwards, so that's this way around. Uh, and position the ring nut as in the image without using any glue. Uh, check the small pins on the outer face of the ring nut coincide with the holes in the rim. So what you've got here is on the inside of the rim, you've got three little holes. So there's one at the top there, and then there's one there, and there's one there, kind of like in a Y shape. And the ring nut has the same... Put that on there like that. The same Y shape, so one at the top and two at the bottom. So all you need to do is line that up with those holes and it should fit in so that on the outside, the five holes that are there all fit in properly. So that's that attached. Uh, now insert the hub uh, in the center of the rim. Be careful to match the hub, sorry, careful to match the hub guides with those of the ring nut. So you've got the same on this. So I can't really get a good a good show of it on this. Um, but you've got the same sort of three holes. So as long as everything lines up and you have got two little pin holes on this as well, so it should all line up quite well. Yeah, so the two little pegs that are just on the actual ring nut line up with the two holes that are on the side, um, the two smaller holes. So one at the top there and one just down there. So if we push that in, that all lines up properly. And uh, now fix the hub gently and gradually tightening three type B screws. So if you've been watching the Bismarck or um, any of the other builds, you'll know that when I'm tightening any screws on anything, I start with one, just tighten it enough that it's caught. Then I'll put in another one that is as close to directly opposite as I can get. And then I'll do the same again, just so it, it bites, just so the, the screw's actually attached, but not all the way fully attached. Okay, on there, there we are. And then same with the third one. And then all you do is you go um, opposite corners. So if you're doing one there, you'll do the next one there, and then you'll go there, and then you'll go there. And all that means is that you're keeping the tension on opposite sides, so nothing's gonna break very easily. And then just go in, and tighten them all up. So what I'm doing with this is getting them so I can feel the tension on the screw itself. So that's all attached in there, which looks good on the outside there as well. Uh, now using the front tire that was supplied with issue three, so that's this one, um, as you can see it has a sponge insert inside to sim uh, simulate the tire inflation, obviously that's what we've gone through just there. Place the rim around the outer face, uh, Place the rim with the outer face facing upwards on your work surface, so with the um, writing on the side there, facing upwards. And press the tyre down until it's, until it's completely covered. Continue to press the tyre downwards so that the lips enter the grooves of the rim as pictured. So there's little grooves just on the edges. So all we do is just push this down by the sounds of it. Ah, you might need to twist it a little bit. There we go. There we are. So all I did then was pushed it 
at an angle and then kind of twisted it like you were twisting the top off a bottle or something like that. And then that should, in theory, you do have to put quite a lot of effort into pushing this one on now. <sighs> Come on. There we are, that's on. And then, so long as the rim is all attached there, yeah, that's fine. So that is the first wheel all done. Right then guys, that's it for issue four, wheel all done. Um, it's nice that we've got that bit of uh, bounce from the foam that's inside there as well. So that's that done. Um, issue five, we get the first brake disc components um, for that wheel that we've just done. So that's all at the top. Uh, on that bit there that will be up next Friday and then two weeks from now we get the left cylinder head cover and the ignition coils which is just at the bottom there um, like I said in the previous video um, Panini and Centauria are doing really well with the um, telling you what you're going to get not just in the following week but the week after that as well so really really happy with that um, that video will be up again next Friday um, so yeah, we'll get that one done nice and quickly. Please remember to like, share and subscribe to the Yorkshire Modeler for more weekly model building geekiness. And until uh, next Friday with the Ferrari F40, happy modeling guys.